somebody, and, and uh, she had all sorts of things to say, but there was very, there was no evidence. Anyways, he signed this bill into law on, get this stuff, notice how I censored myself there, the first day of Pride Month, June 1st, first day of Pride Month, he goes, hey, this is a great day to sign this law. One of my reporters that works for me at Florida Politics, uh, A.G. Gankarski, he was at the bill signing in Jacksonville, and he very quickly, um, at, at the press conference, asked the governor if there was a particular message that he was sending by signing a transgender sports ban on the first day of Pride Month. The governor did not like this question, <laughs> of course, and this reporter was promptly escorted to the back of the room because, well, we can't have anybody asking tough questions of um, our state's top elected official. But anyways, his, his answer to the question made national headlines um, he, he basically said that um, boys will play on boys' sports and girls will play on girls' teams, and that's just how it goes. He used, he used words that the transgender community frowns upon, biological males, for example, that is not uh, the, the preferred nomenclature. It implies that there is no choice, there is no autonomy to gender, um, and, you know, uh, those of you who support transgender rights, I'm sure, would agree with the notion that um, gender is kind of a construct, and um, just because somebody is born with male anatomy doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to identify as that, that sex. So, But it, it's, it's to talk about broader strategy that pays attention to the individual and not the collective. And What's the point of the ban? How do I, what was, hold, what hold was on. Who, before the bill was passed? Who, hold on. Something's going on with my phones here because you just... Wait, stop talking. Stop, stop. Before the bill was passed? Can you stop talking for a second? Of the band. Can you stop talking for a second? Something is wrong with our phone lines and you, you just... Uh, did you just say something's wrong with me? Okay, buddy. Goodbye. We don't do insults uh -huh. on this show. So if you're not a jerk and you want to call, the number to call is 813-239-9. You don't have any right to be in here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This is an independent right investigation. Now. Call the cops. Call yep, the cops. You need to this leave right now. You need to leave right now. This guy threatened me. We don't do insults on this show. So if you're not a jerk and you want to call, um, but... It's it's to talk about broader strategy that pays attention to the individual and not the collective. Hey, and what's the point of the ban? How do I, what was hold what hold was on who, before the bill was passed? <laughs> hold on, something's what's going on with my phones here because you just wait. Stop talking. Stop. Stop. Before the bill was passed. Can you stop talking for a second? Of the ban. Can you stop talking for a second? The governor did not like this question, <laughs> of course. And this reporter was promptly escorted to the back of the room because, well, we can't have anybody asking tough questions. Are you there?